I'm here. I'm here. Hi, Sneakers. Welcome to No Madness Life. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. Hello, chat. Sorry, I wasn't live for two days. We've been having all kinds of stuff going on in the house. Oh, and it doesn't end there. 10 a.m. today, they're dealing with the pipe situation, and they're going to be sanding floors next door, which means I'm going to turn my furnace off or I'll get a headache because you shouldn't breathe in, and we have these big vents in the floor, right? And so anything they do over there, whatever, it's a whole thing. So it's been very loud. It's going to be loud today, too. But I'm like, one monkey ain't stopping this show. And if you're wondering why I still have this basket here, because I'm sure we look around a room. I look around rooms on lives, the people that actually cam up, because they can't run my washer until they take care of these pipes. I was going to go to the laundromat, but it takes every ounce of my psyche to go to a laundromat. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I got a sinus headache. I should have done my... Uh, let me get my uh, allergy meds. It's brutal. Got to use my Flonase. In case you hear me sniffing. Flonase. Do you get your hair professionally done? Yeah, by me. <laughs> I can foil my whole head. <laughs> um... That's the beautiful part, but I hate doing it. Good morning, Leo wife. So yes, y'all been emailing me, worrying about me. No, I'm fine. Just dealing with house stuff. Can you give the younger people some advice on aging attractively? Buy my face cream. It's right there. This is my store. Buy my face cream. No chemicals. And my rose clay face bar, right there. Yeah, this is my store. Oh, I got new things, guys. I got Memorial Day, you know, shit's coming up. I've got the military. I, I made the US Army, the Air Force, the Marines, and the Navy. Coffee mugs, look at these coffee mugs too. I am a smart ass, y'all know. I'm sass crass and a bit of an ass. Um, so I made this. These coffee mugs, shut the F up, say when. Ah, ha, 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 it's my favorite. Shh, nobody cares. Boss lady, talk to me, goose. Beach life. I've been working because I got a business meeting and I, I'm going to be doing it next week when they get done with this stupid house and bothering me. Listen, I just want to get out of here, okay? I've had enough. And uh, you know what I've been through living in this house, but it's my choice. So I can't get mad at anybody. I could leave, not deal with this shit, right? But right now, it suits me for my needs. And then after that, I'm out of here. Thank God it's not my house. Uh, uh, it was offered to me to buy. <laughs> and I go, uh, no, I'm good. Thanks anyway. There's a link to my store if you're interested. Uh, by the way, Jennifer... Um, the, the tumbler you ordered was supposed to go out on the 23rd, but they had to wait for the inventory to come back in for the tumblers and it's in and it'll be shipped in the next two to three days. Sorry about that. They sent me an email saying, I sent you a message in the Etsy store. If there's ever an issue with any of your orders, um, in the Etsy store, I will send you a message in the Etsy store. Your earrings are going to be there today. Yay. Yay. Are you... Are you ten treasures? Oh, good. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Um, I was so, like... But you know what happens, um, you know, inventory, they got some people, I went through that, I went through that with, um, you know, my shirts, people, you know, the Bella is like the best, that's what those shirts are, by the way, is Bella's, um, they're soft, they're, they just feel good, right, they're not that starchy, 
uh, feeling. I hate that shit. Um, they're soft. And uh, anyway, so I went through that with the Bellas. They would say they, you know, I'd order them. And then they'd, I'd get orders. And then they'd say, oh, sorry, we're out of stock. Uh, we'll send them as soon as we can. Is Etsy hard to do? Well, the hardest part is um, building your customer base. I've been in there three years. Three years. Yeah, it is hard. Any business is hard. Mm -hmm. And I don't just do it on my YouTube channel. I do it on Facebook, Instagram, all that shit. And yeah, it gets frustrating, but whatever. I'm going to a whole different uh, thing right now, but that won't be on my YouTube channel because I don't need the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? People that don't like you, I don't need that bullshit. Hello, Sherry. Okay, so do you see everybody out there waiting with held breath for Foodie Beauty to come back? Y'all crazy. <laughs> yes, it's definitely tough, Kate. Yes. Uh, anyway... So, oh my God, so many things. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to get into what's going on in the world because to me, it's a movie, it's a show. Actually, Netflix had a show very similar or, uh, to what's going on. And it's getting, remember, oh, I don't even know if you guys paid attention to people that about... Uh, it was probably about six months ago. People were saying, uh, you know, pay attention to the water. Pay attention to the water. Well, <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, we had a news report in Michigan that the stuff that went on down there in uh, Ohio, right, that should have been contained and kept in Ohio, well, it's being um, hazardous um, stuff is being uh, dumped in Michigan without Michigan's knowledge, right? Well, here's what I find weird. So you got the you got the mayor coming forward on a news part going, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how they brought it in. Blah, blah, blah. Now remember, remember, we have the Great Lakes, which is where a lot of your bottled water comes from, Lake Superior. Um, anywho, uh, so I'm like, mm, this may not be good, right? <laughs> and then we're finding out they're sending it to Indiana too. Nader's not MIA. He went live last night. Why you guys make shit up? Go to his channel. He went live last night. Yes, Erin uh, Brockovich. Yeah, she's in on it too. Or she's talking about it. But where is our 10 finger shiny forehead governor? She ain't said a word. Not a freaking word. Not a word. Oh, yeah, if, if you want to follow that butterfly, right? Follow the, you will find out uh, the old crypt keeper, right, who lost her job. Uh, uh, she just invested in, what's it called? EcoSmart. It's like a new water treatment. Um, yeah, invested in that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Unridiculous. So just buy a lot of cases of water and have them in your house. Because it'll probably be a short aquarium, short term problem with lasting results, of course. But just keep your eyes on everything. Didi said he was dummy on alive. What's that mean? Blue dream. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so. If you want, we don't even need to get into world events. My God, go watch the Canadian prepper. He's always running down the street on fire. Well, at least his titles of his videos are. Because we already know, YouTube's the same way, right? Clicks and views, clicks and views, clicks and views. That's what it's always about. Clicks and views, clicks and views. It don't even matter if you got clickbait titles. Everybody runs in, what's happening? And speaking of which, this is the whole foodie beauty thing. Okay, guys. Everybody, shh. She's playing checkers. Some of you are also playing checkers with her. Stop it. Stop it. Do you even understand her? Do you even understand what she's doing? All you empaths out there. Do you? Oh, my God. <coughs> <coughs> 
Anyway, so let me show you. Let me just give you a quick short from Richard Grannon, one of the best people in the world to help you understand certain types of people. And don't give them your energy. I've said this a million times. You wanna, wanna know what? Two reasons why she's hiding out right now? One, BBJ, FFG, number two. That's the only reason. Believe me or don't, exactly. She's waiting for the waters to cool over the cat thing, and she and everybody praising FFG. Mm, got it? Okay, so when you expose a certain personality type, mm-hmm, and they don't know what, if they're not in control, and they don't know what to do about it, they go silent. Waiting for the waters to cool. So as soon as everybody quits talking about FFG, being a true queen, absolutely, uh, she'll be back. But in the meantime, she's lost subscribers. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, for bad behavior. And uh, she thinks that if she takes a break, even a week or two, but we know she's not, we see her in the community page and other people's chats, stirring up shit, right? Um, try to, trying the sympathy route now. I'm going to be a better person. I don't like the way I act. Yes, you do. Knock it off. You're a chaos creator. You're the chaos coordinator. Right? For the girl world. And you know it. You know exactly what you're doing. Anyway, it's a game. But it's checkers, sweetheart. I play chess. I play chess. Right? There you go, fatty. Some of us have danced with these people. And had to get educated real quick before they suck your soul out of your body, right? By stealing your emotions, that's all they want. They don't care how they get it. They don't care what they say or do. Do I believe she would have euthanized BBJ? No, she wouldn't have. No. That was to create anger and because she was miserable. Miserable people want to make other people miserable. If you've ever known these type of people or lived with one, they walk in the house, you could be having the best day ever. And they may have had a bad day at work. They don't leave it at work. They don't leave it in the car. They walk through the door and ruin everybody's mood. Everybody's mood in the house, even children because they need you to feel what they're feeling. They need you to be angry. They need you, they need the fight. It's like a, a high, and then it releases their tension. And that's the only way they know how to do it, like Foodie learned as a child. I mean, my God, she used to steal people's boyfriends. She has stolen people's food. She used to stalk people. I mean, you ain't changing this. I, I'll, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we can label it all we want. Narcissist, borderline, right? They had to put a title to this shit. Call it what you want. We don't have to diagnose anyone. There is no cure and no medicine for it, period. But you just need to learn to play checkers, or I mean chess, for real. Okay, so let me give you a little quick summation. <laughs> I love Richard Grannon. Uh, he went through a really, really hellacious relationship in his life. So if you ever want to understand the workings of certain personality types, he just simplifies it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, she steals water, kids candy, right? She don't care. And then when she was about to be exposed by Allah, what'd she do? That's when you know you've bothered her, exposing her, exposing, uh, and I mean, real shit, not stuff she can backtrack on or, or change the narrative or change the direction. That's a game. That's a, called gaslighting. You're crazy. I didn't say that. Where did I say that? Well, we always pull them together and go, here's where you said it. Well, I was just... 
or she's done worse. That's what they do. And it entertains me, doesn't even, no emotion. If you're getting emotional about her games and her tactics, you need to log off or go to the crochet community. Well, hell, they fight over there. I mean, it is what it is. You can't get emotional about this shit. Now, the BBJ thing, the claws, that was real. That was an exposure she never thought would hit the YouTubes. <laughs> FFG, she's playing chess. So there's that. So here we go. Okay, so um, the main tactic. Let's look at this one. The main tactic. Okay, so let's get you turned around. This is Richard Grannon, by the way. Good, handsome to look at, too. But he's great. He offers all this for free, people. So quit wandering around. Is she a Muslim? Is she ever going to act like a Muslim? Is she... Just listen to this. Uh-oh. Entities. There isn't really a person there. Like you would understand a normal person with normal motivations. It's more like a piece of artificial intelligence that induces emotions in others. Understand that. What they are there to do is induce emotion in you. If you want to fight back, you must disrupt that symbiotic, parasitic relationship between their actions which are all false, which come from no authenticity whatsoever. Amen. The only reason why they're taking an action is to induce a reaction in you. That entity, not a person, that entity is inducing emotions in you. And that's their power. That's their strength. Yep. We have to disrupt their supply lines. We have yep. to disrupt their whole strategy. See? See? You have to disrupt their strategy. You have to disrupt their whole strategy. It is, nothing is genuine. It is all scripted. It's a game to take your emotions so they can feed on the attention. And that comes down to emotion. They are emotion generating entities. There is vampires really a person there like nope. you would understand a normal person with normal motivations you mean like when somebody puts on a hijab and goes and takes a shahada an oath to allah and then goes against everything uh they took an oath to you mean like that richard right to get people worked up about something else you can choose so many categories of people she can make people think she might be gay she can make people think she might be Muslim. She can make people think she believes in God. She can make people believe she cares about animals. See how that works? Keep pulling subjects that are considered social hot buttons. Hi, Jason. And let's get people worked up. That is how she gets the clicks and the views. It's more like a piece of artificial intelligence that induces emotions in others. Understand that. What they are there to do is, is induce the emotion, emotion in, in you. you. If you want to fight back, you must disrupt, disrupt that symbiotic, parasitic relationship between their actions, which are all false, which come from no authenticity whatsoever. The only reason why they're taking an action is to induce a reaction in you. That entity, not a person, that entity is inducing emotions in you. And that's their power. That's their strength. We have to disrupt their supply lines. We have to disrupt their whole strategy. And that comes down to emotion. They are emotion. There you go. There she is. Yes. No, just don't give her any emotion. You can react to her content. But the minute you actually give her an emotion, she's fulfilled. It's that simple. Look what Pete did for her. He always felt set bad for her because she told him that she was bullied in school. I'm sorry, sweetheart. You seem more like the bully. She has learned how, listen, <laughs> Nader would not play with her bullshit.
that made her go into revenge because it's still an emotion. She still was trying to get an emotion from Natter. Whether he's a good guy or not, don't give a shit. The point is, he wouldn't play ball. Hi, Blue Dream. Um, but when she got exposed for the real, I mean, you cannot deny the cat's claws, right? That's when it, she got exposed. And everybody sided with FFG. She was trying to destroy FFG's credibility, but BBJ made FFG a queen because she saved her. She's always been a bully. Absolutely. Okay, so here was a nugget. Um, I was watching Knock Knock, It's Karma. Um, I'm not playing the whole thing because um, there's a lot of copyright music in there. And it's a lot of stuff we have seen a million times. Um, and I, there is so much hypocrisy, but it's on purpose. She creates the hypocrisy because she needs the attention. She's an att attention-seeking whore. <laughs> And the YouTubes and the Kiwi Farms. Ooh, you know, she'll come on. She'll try the feel, I'm a victim to all the haters. But she created all the content to create the emotion of hate. But I don't hate her. Because she has absolutely no bearing on my life. I would never give her that energy because I don't have it for her. People have to earn my hatred, right? I have to know you personally. I have to have given you uh, my love and then you screwed me over. And I've only hated one person in my entire life. And it was also someone like this. A vampire. Mm -hmm. That thinks people are possessions and property. Um, and they want to um, own you. So yeah, only once in my life. And uh, learned lots of hard lessons. And here I am today. Recognize these people within 10 minutes. And I love it. So... Showing you who she is is just more of my therapy of, yep, they're all the same. And it's, it's crazy these people exist, but they do. They really, really do. Oh, my, my. They'll even threaten. They'll, listen, they will use anything. They will pull anything out of a hat that they think will give an emotion. They'll threaten suicide. They will... Um, Send people after you. All kinds of crazy shits. Okay, so here was one thing that I wanted to bring back and put it side by side. It kind of helps you see the gaslighting. So let's do this. Porter, terror of a gluttonous life. And I have to assume they're all the same or worse than she is. Nobody with even reasonably good hygiene habits could watch. It's right after this part. And agree that she's doing things right. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? Well, now, if you didn't know what this segment was, if you didn't know, Charlie Gold is a reaction channel, right? And Charlie Gold is very calm, unemotional. Uh, she just covers and reacts to the content. And she, <laughs> yeah, uh, she triggered this one, right? Well, Charlie Gold is an African American. You can already see where we have a problem with this, right? Looks like uh, our social justice warrior may have not known that he was being duped into this. I don't know. I don't know. He's a simp. I don't care. Uh, so she called Charlie Gold, Charlie Cole. Okay. So she said, oh, it's just a mineral. I meant she was the lowest of minerals. Well, you're not that smart. Um, what you did was probably a racist remark that was up for interpretation and discussion. And of course, clicks and views, clicks and views, clicks and views anyway. So when she did a half-hearted apology, she mukbang Popeyes and put a Popeyes Louisiana chicken uh, green screen behind her. Most of us know she never uses a green screen. So this was a one and done, right? Had to get her across, her point across that this was not really an apology. Welcome back to another video. Today we are having Popeyes for dinner with each other. This is a lot of food, I know. We are not going to eat this all in one sitting, but I'm um, just, just trying to display the food nicely for you guys. 
This video was an abomination from start to finish. She deleted it soon after posting it, but the Kiwi Farms archivists came in clutch again with a copy. I'm not going to go over all the problems with the video or her behavior in it. Video coverage on that exists, and I'll try yes, to link some if there is video coverage on this. Um, and uh, this is this is before filters, people. I told you she had a round face. Interested. Included this to illustrate the links Pete's will go to for Chantal. Pete's is a proud SJW according to his Twitter, but he sat here eating fried chicken in front of a green screen image of Popeyes while his best friend discussed accusations of racist comments. Yeah, good job, Pete's. Chantal took his presence and explanation as a sign of her innocence and naivete of the things she said, and a large amount of her audience did too. He inadvertently excused all the things she was being held accountable for, yet he's had entire ragers over someone being fatphobic on Twitter. Yep. Pete's will never, ever, um, say anything to Chantal that she's doing. He won't ever rage at Chantal for the shit she does, so y'all can give up on that. Puts on her socks, cleans her leaking fupa wounds, sets aside his self-proclaimed values, entertains her audience while she's busy eating. In return, he gets her shit-talking him to thousands of people. Regardless of whatever past we had, it doesn't matter. My life... Uh, look at your fake sadness. You want everybody to feel sorry for you because... Why? Because it was about Pete. The questions they were asking were about Pete. How could you abandon your best friend that put your socks on for you, cleaned your fupa, blah, 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 took care of you after surgery? How could you abandon him? Mm-hmm. It's got to be about her. Life has changed. No, it hasn't. You can't hide your chins. Honestly, I'm not just, I'm not crying about what people are saying about me. It's mostly just that I'm going. It's that you're being called out for being a, a terrible human. And whenever you're exposed for real, your real bad behavior, this is what you do. A lot. And I'm just having a hard time. Like I'm just emotional and just stressed out. So now read the chat. See if they're giving you hugs. Patting you on the head. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, this is when uh, BBJ had no food, crying out in pain, and she's at her mama's house, right? Because she didn't want to deal with hurting Pete. And Pete was hurt that she kicked him to the curb. It ain't about you two never living, about you two living separate lives. It's the way you did it. You did him dirty. You used him up to the last second. You told them, we'll talk about it when I get home. Instead of going, you might want to find a job. You might want to find a place to live. No, you needed him because you can't be alone. Wham, wham. You know, these assholes with these controlling personalities who, who think they got the whole world figured out and everybody's their pawn, even the YouTubes, right? They're the most insecure people to walk this earth. So they know they cannot... Steal the emotions of people who are secure. They can only steal the emotions of people who are going through it and are as insecure as her. Checkers. You're playing checkers. That's it. I'm paying for him through everything. Yeah. Ah, uh, she was paying for Pete. I wonder why, Beezers. You'll find out why. How did I ruin his credit? Here we go. Eh. How did I ruin his credit? Eh. Answer that. Excuse me? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> like? Like, I ruined his credit. Look at these people coming in here and making shit up. Give me a break. How did I ruin his credit? Hmm? Eh. Excuse me? I love that. Uh. I owe him my life. This man, when I met him, paid off all my debts. No shit, Chantal. He did. When you met him, you used him. Is Salah promising to pay off all your tax problems? Like Grandma used to say, maybe, but I kind of fucking doubt it. He's going to bankrupt you. Welcome to karma. Because Salah, Marad, and Allah are playing chess. Incurred debt for me. Incurred Ooh. debt for me. Ooh, really? He did. Good thing it's out of your own mouth. 
How did I ruin his credit? Good debt for me. Paid for the license because of him. Okay. He's done a lot for me. So okay. Pete's, I will support till at least still hang out with him. She said she would support Pete's till the end of her life. So there's that. Yeah, we ain't being mean. You got to call out the bullshit. So anyway, last night I was over here. This is Sarah Jane's. I got to subscribe. Even though I do not want to add one more Chantal reaction channel to my list of notifications. Um, so this is uh, Sarah Jane's channel. The one she always calls 500 pounds and whatever bullshit. Trying to get a reaction out of her. She knows that Sarah Jane is em empathic, right? She knows this. She knows Farida is not. Farida is not. Farida's like me. Sees through the bullshit, and you're not going to make me feel any certain way about you because you're a stranger, foodie. That's weird. And I see through all your games, which is fun. To me, listen, let me tell you something. You cannot... <laughs> Listen, I'm an overthinker, okay? You can't bullshit an overthinker. Our brains are trained to look for holes in every story and to go seek the truth. That's what overthinkers do. I am one of those people. I'm one of those, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That smells like a skunk. That's me, which explains a lot of things in my life that I have dodged because I am not a follower. I'm also not a leader. I don't want to be type A or type B personality. I just ride neutral. I just am very aware. And when somebody says something that seems too good to be true or is newly manufactured and um, makes promises without any research, yeah, I'm pretty hesitant because I'm like, well, what if? Hell, I'm still hesitant on microwaves. I'm like, what if microwaves in 50 years cause this or that? Well, they've already been around forever. Okay, so whatever. But I don't try anything new that could be potentially long-term harmful. I just don't. I'm sorry. Call me a... Uh, uh, pure blood, call me whatever the hell you want. I don't give a shit. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just skeptical and I have a right to be. But the people that wander around telling people what they should do, those are the ones you need to be skeptical of because they need people to join forces with them so they can validate their own damn feelings. I don't work like that. Have no energy to give a shit um, what people think I should do with my life. It's the only one I've been given. I don't need it dictated or scripted by strangers. That's just stupid. Not insecure like that. Anyway, so when I started listening to this, because I was doing all kinds of crazy shit yesterday, um, it got interesting because Foodie Beauty joined Sarah Jane's chat. <laughs> I love it. She goes to... Uh, listen, she's not uh, she's not doing lives, but she's been putting out community posts, gaslighting, manipulating people. And I'm like, blah, 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 shut the hell up. So she goes into here, right? And watch the people that treated her, in my opinion, Sarah Jane, uh, the people that treated her like a celebrity just showed up on stage. And then there were people that go, eat a bag of dicks, bitch. Now that cracked me up. That was doe eye Doe-eyed cookie, you are the MVP. And Farida, MVPs. I like people like this, right? I love people like that. Okay, so where did she join the chat, people? Blah, blah, blah. It was quite a ways in. They were watching her last live. Blah, blah, blah. Having their panel discussion of her bad behavior. I got to figure out where she was. God, it was when it was... The screen was dark. Oh, right, right, right. There it is. Because see, you can see she's in the chat. See? So, 
It's gonna be Foodie Beauty script, by the way. All right, let's see when she joined the chat. There's, uh, she's seen Lambo was in there, um, right? So they were all on a panel doing their own thing, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, when does she join the chat? I gotta get, see. You know, go get her, you know, the typical stuff, go to Starbucks, getting uh, get all that fattening, like, you know. That's Farida talking. All that, the crazy uh, drink that has all these calories and yeah, I don't beat around the bush. Thank you, De or Jamie. I don't beat around the bush. I get to the point. I have content when I go live. I'm not here to have coffee and so how's the weather in your state? Bl Girls, talk to each other on the phone. That does not make for content I want to watch. This is people who just want to have a channel. Like, come in here, deliver the goods, and dip out. For real. Like, what is all this chit- hens chit-chatting over stupid shit and oh my god i can't do it you guys i i'm listen i even have a problem with people that do have a content i still poking holes in the story because if you go over and watch canadian prepper i'm gonna be honest with you the only thing he said before we get to the foodie beauty and her horse shit okay so the only video i'm gonna show you um I'm going to show you the only video um, right here. This, are you effing kidding me? This one? This is the only one where I said, okay, you got me. You got me. I'm paying attention. I still watch his videos, right? Um, but Canadian Prepper put out this one. Uh, when the live's over, go watch it. Um, I think it's very informative of what's really going on and whether you should, I don't know, be doing what these people have been telling you, start, start, start hoarding water and canned goods. I'm just saying with, with the fifth, what Greece now, uh, the fifth or sixth train, train derailment. Um, I think, I think you need to pay attention to supplying goods. Um, and also the big, um, um, what do you call it? Oh, the big cargo ship out in the ocean that just dumped all those cargoes into the ocean. You got to say, what was on them? What was on those? What was on those? Well, you can afford cans of, you can afford canned goods. They're a buck. Go to the damn Dollar Tree. Ten bucks will get you ten, ten canned goods. That's what you should be, um, and rice. Rice is really cheap. Rice and beans, rice and beans, rice and beans. I ain't talking about doing a whole um, Gordon Ramsay, you know, supply. I'm talking about beans and rice. Um, I don't think you should be dropping anything in the ground. <laughs> well, at least we're not going to be in Ohio, Indiana, or Michigan. I'll tell you that much. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. I don't think the soil is going to be up to par. You might want to grow them inside. I have over two, 3,000 seeds. <laughs> anyway, that, whatever. Just go watch it if you want. All right. So anyway, let's wait for Foodie Beauty to join. Join the group. They're in here. Blah, blah, blah. This is what I think. This is what I feel about her, which is fine. Feel any way you want. I suggest you just don't feel. I suggest you just watch and try to expose the lies because that's the one thing they hate when they're exposed. But if you're going to get in panels and feel something, she's going to come in hot, right? Hotter than a bean fart. She's going to roll up in this chat and you're about to see it. So this is proof. You know, I hate Sarah Jane. She calls her 500 pounds. She calls Farida Jean Simmons, right? Because she loves their attention because they care. They have emotions about it. That's what she loves. Like, what do you miss? Well, Sarah Jane used to panel up with Monty until she started her own channel, Skinny Queen Reacts, right? So... There you go. And she does panels. Some people like panels. I hate panels. But this was a good part. 
So let's just let Foodie Beauty roll in while they're talking. Oh, and the Holy Trinity's in here. You had plain cheeseburgers, Lambo. There's Ashley, there's Lambo, right? Sofa King, probably. She follows the Holy Trinity where they go. She was never friends with Foodie Beauty. She's Monty's. Well, maybe she was before the whole Monty thing, but I don't know. Uh, well, uh, we're going to watch Trailer Park. Watch the chat. You'll see Foodie Beauty roll in, and she keeps poking these people. They try to call her out, and she, put, they, she keeps poking them because then they get emotional, which is extra. Seeing, I don't get it. You were just home sitting on your butt eating. What are you missing? I don't you didn't we, I don't think he was even there with you. What is it that you're missing? You act like you had you know such a great life and oh wow. I mean what did they do? They went to museum. Wow. I mean yeah. it was like and oh we're going to try Oh, Sarah Jane was a beezer. Okay, my bad. I only knew her from being on Monty's panel. I, I highly doubt, it, especially that she gained even more weight and then the in a few months, you know, it's going to get hotter and hotter. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, like you said, I really think she got, she was getting so high when she came back. She forgot about how bad it was. <laughs> I, I heard that Salah in the chat the other day called her his fat, beautiful princess or something. Fat Canadian wife. That's what he called her. Yeah, but I don't think that's him. But if it was, that's just insane. That's crazy. <laughs> and, and the other one, he said something about your diet. That's the other line. That yeah, she'll come into the chat. And troll it. Uh, she may not be doing live streams, but she's um, inside every uh, reaction channel live. She's in every uh, everything comment sections, Kiwi Farm. She's waiting for the BBJ thing to um, chill out. That's you'll see. That I heard he said something Wait, about watch your say? diet or something. This is called testing the waters when she comes in there. Oh my god! So, but but I'm thinking. Here's my thinking. That Salah has maybe kind of buckled down for the worst. He's like, you know, she's going to come over here. Ramadan's coming up. We got to get her, get her at least off of this every, eating every two hour schedule, so we can at least pretend that she's, you know, doing the Ramadan fast. Because you know they don't, they take it more seriously There's over there. No way. There is no way that she's going to do Ramadan. There is no, <laughs> no way. She's got a couple, a few weeks to get ready. If anybody wants to do a bet with me and they think she, come on, I'm a betting woman. Let's go. <laughs> she is so, she's going to be going through those withdrawals again, guys. It's not going to be pretty. Now, I don't know this chick. I don't know her. Never even heard of her. I haven't even heard of Dr. Phil. Um, and this guy, like Dr. Phil, F-I-L-L. -L. Uh, I have no idea who he is either. But I find it interesting on what people stand by what they say and what people um it's kind of like you know oh, man you, you get those mean you get a mean girls club right i mean they're not a mean girls club i'm just saying like think about this like you ever met these people where they like to gossip but then when they're faced head on by the person they're gossiping about they don't stand their ground and their beliefs and what they feel they kind of back down yeah, that's what Foodie looks for. She's playing, well, you know. She's playing checkers, in my opinion, but she could be playing chess with certain people. Yeah, people change their tune, right? All right, we got to see where she comes in, because I want to listen to all this. Foodie beady this, foodie beady that. She's not going to do Ramadan. She just, we got wear salon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm waiting for her to join. She joins pretty soon here. About a half hour in, I think. She'll come in and go, Hi. And they're like, oh, my God, Foodie Beauty's in the chat. Oh, my God. She knows what chats not to go into, by the way. She knows the people that would double down, and she knows the people that would back up, backtrack. I'm still waiting for her to join while they're talking about her. Where does she come in? She comes in somewhere soon. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. I don't want to watch the whole damn thing. Okay. Did she come in yet? 
They were talking about her adopting kids. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like that would happen. All, all the, no, it wouldn't happen. She'd have to go buy one in another country where there's no paperwork. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't put a pastor. Look at your mama's in here. Ooh, they were all having fun. That's crazy. I am not that invested, for real. <laughs> when does she roll in? Pretty soon. We're all watching the chat to see when she rolls in and says, Hi. <laughs> and then it gets good. Other than that, just a bunch of gossip. Which I'm not against. It's just theories. I can't do panels of theories. Like, one person, please. All right, they were still going over her shit. She does... I thought she rolled in sooner than this. Like I said, I just had my head set in, so... I paid no attention to time. But it got good when she rolled in. And she knew it would. They're talking about what's legal in Kuwait. Look at Dad, I see you in there. You know exactly what happened. Okay. God, where is she? And Tonus got a wrench in there. Okay, hold on. Do you know, anyone know what time? What do you mean, stop? Here we go. There she is. Miss America. Miss America. Love it. I love how everybody's like, Forty Beauty's in here. There she is again. I'm waiting for where it says, Hi. <laughs> There she is again. I'm going to assume somebody went. All right, so it's probably right after here. Okay. You are so sweet, Sarah. Sarah, you don't have to defend yourself. Fighting evil with evil does no good for anyone. That's Sarah's voice. Okay, they know she's there. As you said, foodie, you will be left penniless and used and maybe even in legal trouble. Um, Julia said she prays on empath. You're saying it's not her in there? Okay, I'll click on her name. And see if it is. Oh, I can't do it on my... Ah, I can't do it on my... Oh, wait. Nope. I can't do it on my, I can do it on my phone. Yes, it's her. Okay. There we go. We know it's her. Okay. Pocket said Sala had more care. Hold on. The chat jumped up when I was reading. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate when it does that and I leave it. Um, Antona Bubba T said, I'll pray for your God. bank account, foodie beauty. <laughs> Okay, Antonis had a wrench in there and said, yes, it was her for sure. So quit having the debate. Uh, um, Doe said, who gives a shit about carpets? And I don't know what that means. Why do Because <laughs> you were talking about her moving out of the villa and not caring about the carpets, leaving it to the landlord. And they lived there three years. And um, so, yeah, who cares about carpets? That is just people's choice to clean carpets and have pride when they leave or not. And Foodie Beauty's not known to have pride over doing anything extra. So there's that. <laughs> I'm lost. Hey, Barney. Barney's my favorite dinosaur, guys. Barney is my favorite dinosaur. Um, Jolie T, you're not blocked. She said, well, I'm going to start a Howie cam, so maybe I'll make money laughing my ass off. Told you, 
It's just a game. And you see how some of these people are quiet now, right? Oh my God, you would think all the microphones would be going, get the hell out of here, you waste of space and shit like that. You hurt your cat. Like, they should have just kept that going. She'd have left. You're not blocked. Um... Uh, somebody goes, foodie, impersonate a, tra a taxpayer. <laughs> I like these kind of people. I don't, uh, I don't like people who get nervous and back down. I guess what I'm saying is I have hope for everyone. Yeah, that's everyone okay. has a chance to change and be happy and well. I wish that for everyone, right? But you guys hate Abby. Because it's much okay, for her, even though she does some things that aren't pleasant. But oh, look at her having what? feelings. Look at Chantal. This one's gonna give you feelings. I'm not a hater. I just care about her, and I'm really hoping that Foodie Beauty's laughing while she's high. Nice job, in a hijab, Sarah. <laughs> right. It's okay. I'm a Christian, all right. I I'm a Christian, all right. Then what are you doing on a gossip panel, <laughs> right? Just be who you are. Why are you bowing down? Oh my God. I have Jesus in my heart. We're it, all people. I care about her too. It's okay. It's okay, sir. I'd like to know how many groups she's in for social issues. Wouldn't you? People are just people. They, they just let them live their lives. Unless it doesn't line up with my narrative. It's okay. Um... Missy Moo's been quiet. She better stay quiet and keep doing her laundry and taking care of her reborns. And go get her dog groomed. That dog just looks like it stinks. I don't like to have a dog that looks like it stinks. Girl. Um. Why don't you take a break, sir? Look at Foodie Beauty's making fun of her crying. <laughs> don't you love that? See? She don't care. She just wanted your energy. She's like, thank you. Uh, it's okay. We love you. And, um... <laughs> I don't want your... Sarah, well, your buzz needs to charge anyway. So I, I don't want well. you to get... She goes, I don't like affecting people's emotions. Yes, you do. You live for it, foodie. <laughs> you wouldn't do half the shit you did if you didn't. I love it. High in a hijab. Right? Trying to get the Muslims in there to yell at you. Oh my God, you live for it. Get upset. Please don't feel yeah. bad. No, oh, I'm fine. I always I'm hard to... because you should have just logged off. You're young, right? They've taught you. They've taught you on apps um, uh, to to just follow groups and be parts of things. And here you are. And she rolls into the chat, and she get. Why are you even in this group? You already know that. She calls Sarah Jane 500 pounds. That you could have defended your friend. That's, oh my gosh. This is the right thing. It's always. Everybody said you're cool, Sarah. You're um, cool. People love you. Here comes Doe Eyed Cookie. I see you, Doe Eyed Cookie. Hello? Mm -hmm. Doe Eyed Cookie coming in. Yeah. Foodies all hug, Sarah. You're my new prey. Nobody would have survived the 70s that are young. What happens if there is a, um, a cyber attack? What are they going to do? I bet you they can't read a map to save their life, right? They don't even know street names of where they're going, right? Um, so I just feel like everyone should learn um, survival tactics. And I'm not talking like the, the gurus, the shit hit the fan people, but just read a map, <laughs> Go a month without social media, like shit like that. Uh, because then you're living your real life, right? You're not, your face isn't buried in a screen that's swaying you this way, swaying you that way um, based on emotions. No, you're out there just living your life. You know, find, your spirit knows how to live. Your spirit knows the path it's supposed to be on. You're not supposed to be brainwashed or manipulated. You're supposed to, like, question everything. It's just crazy. Hey there, girl. 
Hi. Hi, girl. How are you? I'm oh, doing cookie. Really Here comes Doe-Eyed Cookie. She coming in now. She don't even play. Her and Farida do not play the game. They don't play checkers. Really well, I'm beautiful. And Sarah is, Sarah T is a lovely young lady and she is beautiful and she has Jesus in her heart. However, I do not. <laughs> now it's people like <laughs> Doe-Eyed Cookie that make me laugh my ass off. Now she's about to roll in and gets granted permission by Sarah Jane. She gets granted position or, or a permission by Sarah Jane to say whatever the hell she wants. Pretty soon, they follow her energy, right? Because she ain't playing. Yeah, it's called a spine. Oh, and I have some stuff I want to say. If Go, girl. You allow me, Sarah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Chantal. Booty Beauty can eat all of the dicks. <laughs> all the dicks. And she can go and eat all of the shit. This fake ass apology tour can go, she can go and crumple it up into that little ball and shove it straight up her ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that accent, that accent isn't as wicked as like mine would be. Because I got the deep voice and I talk fast. But this accent actually just makes it sound like, yeah, up the ass. Absolutely. Nobody believes this energy is trying to give. She Thank you. Fake as fuck. She's not sorry. Because if she was truly sorry and truly wanted to change, she would have done this before she allowed her cat to have its claws go into her paws. But Amen. Amen. Yes. She would have thrown cat biscuits on the floor to feed her cat. She would have taken her cats back to the vet. She would have cleaned that villa so they had a beautiful space to live in. She would care about the landlords changing the carpets because she would have kept her fucking carpets clean. Mm. Eat dick Die in a ditch. <laughs> I was busting out laughing. <laughs> if you guys, I mean, seriously, it is awesome. That is some funny shit. Foodie, I hope Sala fucks 15 women before you get over there. <laughs> You know what? I mean, I'm not saying I would say any of this, but this chick, she is just standing her ground. You know what I'm saying? I mean, stand her. She didn't back down to foodie. She was glad she was in there so she could walk up to the podium and tell her what's up, right? How she feel. I mean, if foodie beauty's gonna constantly trauma dump on us, you know, doe eyed cookies like, let me trauma dump on your ass. There you go. I hope you get all the venereal diseases. I hope all your pickles are sour. Fuck off. And I hope all your pickles are sour. <laughs> I love Aussie Rage. It is so, it is just with love. I mean, like, yeah. Americans, not so much. Keep fucking off. And you can keep fucking off. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say, really. <laughs> well, then, thank you, Doe-Eyed Cookie Doe. <laughs> now the energy changes in the room, right? Because nobody had the balls to do it. So let's get going. Yeah. Don't tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I feel See, This is why I think it's bullshit. okay to have opposite opinions because yeah. it's healthy. It's healthy. And I don't think we should be coming hard on Sarah T because she's never come at foodie with this energy. This is this is how she is with everybody. Then she's in the wrong genre. Sarah T. They will eat you alive, sweetheart. They don't even be in a group that has been targeted by Foodie Beauty. And no, I wouldn't do it. No way. She's not soft. A I know, they're taking it way too serious. Exactly. But Foodie's in the chat. 
So, you know, if Foodie showed up in here, I'm pretty sure the people in here would tell her about herself, especially the cat lovers, the people that spend buku bucks taking care of their animals, right? And don't want to ever see a child or an animal suffer, no matter what. Like, when you bring home a pet, you have made a commitment. Kind of like when you take shahada, you have taken an oath, right? And if you start insulting pet owners, pet lovers, or religions, then you got what's coming to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had what's coming to you. As you think I would shut up my fucking chat if she showed up? No, they're a, gr a grown adults, and they can say whatever the hell they want, just like doe-eyed cookie, for real. Sweet soul, you guys. She doesn't flip-flop. She wants everybody to be okay. She still has hope for foodie. I do not. I think Chantal is just one of the worst people I've ever encountered in my entire life. Well, it's because you haven't educated yourself on narcissistic personality disorder. For real. If you all went and watched Richard Grannon, you'd all be playing chess. Nobody would be playing checkers up in here. But you got the feelsy people, and that's the one she's looking for. Like Missy Moo. Right? Missy Moo might have fucking around and found out, but I doubt it. I think Chantal's talking to her in the background. You know, bib -bib 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 -bib. she needs her energy, right? She needs her energy. And uh, Missy Moo's still giving her the energy. I'm sorry. And they're talking to each other. But she's not going to put Missy Moo in the chat, right? And let the Beezers be pissed off because then she'll lose income. I mean, she don't even care about the fight. She cares about losing more members. So she's finding out the percentage of empaths and followers in her society is a very small amount. Kind of like when they tested Americans. Well, actually, let's just say people. How many people can we get to do something because they want to be a hero or they want to be, um, I don't know, I don't, a follower, I'm guessing. And how many people are non-compliant? Well, what if we threaten the non-compliant? Well, they're still non-compliant. It's kind of like taking the temperature, right? I told you, one thing, narcissistic personalities, they, they test you. They'll push you a little bit, and then if you come hard, they'll back off. Then, the, then they'll play you some more, they'll push again, see where they got you. It's a whole game, it's a dance. I call it a dance with the devil. I don't dance with the devil. Mm -mm. She doesn't want to change. She's just trying to get some face back because everybody hates her guts because we don't like animal abusers. And she's been outed as a prolific, long-term animal abuser. Uh, beauty by Rose, Rose why, why did we not keep it real? Why? Because because we're saying that we don't wish I've harm always her. Is that, that why? Right. Why you think we're going to... We're you th Do you think we that we're kissing her butt or something? What, no, I've always maintained that, that I don't, wish, we don't wish harm uh, on her. Is that what it is? I don't wish harm on anybody. That's just me as a person. <laughs> this person goes, Foodie Beauty, how does it feel to know the cats will outlive you? <laughs> right? Then, well, Probably even BBJ. I we do, I do uh, want Chantel to be accountable for her actions. She will never be accountable for her actions, Sarah Jane. Ever. They don't know how. Their idea of being accountable is comparing it to somebody else that they feel is worse than them, or being accountable means uh, becoming a victim of their own behavior. See? See how that works? The three of us... I've always said, I've always maintained on that. ...a spectrum when it comes to how much we dislike and how we treat Chantal. This is the same energy Sarah gives when I talk to her privately. This is the same energy I give when I talk to Sarah privately. She doesn't go back and forth. This... Well, you know what? Can we stop worrying about Sarah? If she chooses to be on this platform and the energy is increasing, she should say, I got to go. That's it. That's it. But Foodie's eating this up. Her energy, she's eating it up. So you're literally putting their, her out there like the goat tied to the post in Jurassic Park. She should excuse herself. 
this is the same energy Sarah has for Chantal. She doesn't want bad stuff for her. I do. I want her to stub a toe every time she walks a place. <laughs> I want her I, I, holes in her clothes, itchy skin. I want really bad. <laughs> and I'm okay with that too Chantal. because that's Do's, that is Doe's feelings. And I, yeah. I respect Doe's feelings. And Sarah um, doesn't feel the same as me. I've never said, oh, I wish um, uh, Chantal. You see what she's doing? It's either, I have never determined if that is a kissy face or, yeah, she, Sarah, she sent you a kiss or a whistle, like, I'm bored. <whistles> Haven't figured it out yet. Never know with foodie. <laughs> Tell doesn't have consequences. I wish Chantel doesn't uh, take responsibility, but I don't want any human to ever hurt. That's just me. I have always been, um, I don't. No, no, Chantal, I don't want you to die. I want you to be really, 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 really uncomfortable for the rest of your life. And I hope Oh, trust me, she already is. A doe eyed cookie. Because here's the one thing about people like her. Um, well, the worst thing about her, she's not calculated. She is kind of like just needing people's attention and energy. She's like the most insecure. Uh, there are ones that walk around grandiose, even though they're insecure. They never, they never fault to make you think that they're more powerful than you. Foodie Beauty's not that kind. She is, I can't be alone. I need people's attention, good, bad, or ugly, no matter what. And she's, she's impulsive. That's the ones that end up with the worst luck. So trust me, she's going to get her own karma if she's not getting it already. She's given up everything, believing a man is going to give her all the attention she wants and take care of her. There is no man from the Middle East going to take care of you financially. Uh, that was the lure of you. And you kept handing him money. So you're buying love. We get it. You've done it before. You've done it with everyone pretty much. But anyway, in the end, that's going to bite you because of the BBJ thing. And you know it. That is why you're hiding right now because of the BBJ thing. And nobody is going to forget how evil that was. Yeah, Cash is her, her fishing bait. Yep. But your life is really, really. Wait till there isn't any because this re really is going to hurt her. This is going to hurt her. Really, really long. So it's really, really, really bad. And I think ever since she put the hijab on is when her luck started going back. Because I'll tell you one thing. You don't play around with that energy. I don't care if you got horns underneath that hijab. I don't care if you got a tail. Right? I don't care if the real color of uh, your eyes are red. Good always prevails over evil. So there's that. That's what I want for you. Everybody in this chat has different um uh feels different ways about um what has happened and and i'm just saying that's that's okay i i am mad at Ch i do get mad at chantel a lot and i have been petty with her and 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 um i don't agree with how she treated bbj absolutely not um that is that to me chantel when you yeah, and that's the other thing, Kusinta. Kusinta said, hope EBJ's health check is all good. That's the other reason she ain't around. She may be concerned about the outcome of BBJ's health check, which will provide the YouTubes, and she can't shut FFG up. I don't care what the hell she would try to do. She will never shut her up for what she did to her. And she can run around pretending like FFG uh, came for her first, and that is not true. FFG tried to be her friend. She didn't even react to her in a negative way um, until Chantal turned her number, oh, oh, doxed her number on the internet, and turned her number over to Nader, and he threatened FFG's life. So, yeah, that's where it started. But anyway, now she knows a Scorpio such as FFG, will seek revenge till the end of time 
for what she did to her. So she knows she can't persuade FFG in any way to not release the information of this health check to find out how long this cat's been suffering or neglected. Right, she may have a blistering UTI infection, kidney infection, because um, when she was told to bring the cat in a year ago for kidney um, tests, uh, she didn't, she ignored it. As she spent thousands of dollars, you can't even use the excuse she didn't have the money. Even Vegan for Life sent her like $500 to take that cat in, and she didn't. She spent thousands of dollars on edibles. She spent thousands of dollars on delivered food for her and Pete. So there was absolutely no financial reason she couldn't take that cat in. This was pure lazy and uncaring, unloving, non-empathetic, non-nurturing behavior. End of. So this is probably why she's taking a break, waiting to see what gets divulged because FFG will definitely let you all know. That cat should have went to the vet the yep. minute that people offered. Yep. Um, BBJ. No, no, no. That cat should have been gone to the vet because she oh, was I know. But I'm saying, right thing to I'm do saying to when take when, care of when, an elderly cat. Yes, she should the cat not have should... been forced or pushed to take her cat to the vet. She should have done it because she knew it was the right thing to do to take care at a base level of your animal. Especially when the vet sets up when your animal needs vaccines. Like, remember, Pete's cat died in its bedroom. Not really. I think they euthanized it because she mentioned it. But the cat's legs were infected. It was disgusting. And that cat lived in Pete's room. And when Pete's pan to the food bowl and stuff, it was so disgusting. And uh, the cat just literally, all the cats suffered in that house. Oh, God. Seriously? Is somebody at my door? Is this how this day is going to go? Yes. Hold on. Hold on, people. Okay, yes, the pipe people, but whatever. Anyway, my point was, um, and none of the cats were vaccinated, so they couldn't go near each other because I don't know what uh, Timbit had or whatever, her cats weren't vaccinated. I mean, it was just a whole thing. Instead of taking the cats in, getting them vaccinated, Timbit had to live in Pete's room and die in Pete's room. So I don't want to hear any bullshit of feel sorry for me crap because, well, whatever. Good luck with that. Yeah, feline leukemia, but the cat had infections. It, it was just horrible. When, when that thing happened, when Pete said BBJ wasn't right, um, you should have allowed the mobile vets to come to your house. No shit. Foodie goes, I was taking her. No, you didn't. She knows that she said in Kuwait, as soon as she got home, she was taking the cats to the vet, right? BBJ. F almost a month later, she finally made an appointment. Are you kidding me? See, this is the game she plays. This is the game she plays. She's trying to spark all them. So instead of saying, you know what? I was a piece of shit. I was a piece of shit pet owner. She never will. Because people offered to pay for it and people offered to do it like... Um, she knows all that, Sarah Jane. She just loves when you guys reiterate and you have to keep bringing in the facts. You said you were going to take her. I made an appointment. You know what I'm saying? That's what she does. How do you say it without... Exactly. That's what I was getting at. The vet set up when your animals need, thank God now they have the two-year rabies. You know, you know, it's not every year. Anyway, um, they everything from fleas to ticks to 
um, vaccines to, like, this is part of the undertaking. Just like when you have children, you are supposed to do things like that. Uh, well, okay, well, you don't don't tell you were home for a month. And wait, you wait a minute. No, I don't think she went to a Canadian mask, waddling buffalo. Um, and she wouldn't even kneel on a, a prayer rug because, you know, her knees and, and she's too fat. But how many times you seen her dancing, um, twerking, uh, rolling down a hill, leaning over, um, shaking her ass. But she couldn't kneel on a prayer rug, right? She'd probably burst into flames. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the part she lives for. She came in, stirred them all up like a hornet's nest, and she's laughing. Probably high as a kite, but she's laughing in her bed. Right? For real. Y'all, she came in just like an abusive uh, family member comes in and changes the mood of everybody in the house. That's exactly what she did when she came in. Mm -hmm. Why were you driving? I mean, people are doing caps. Why were you driving high? I mean, all this shit they're saying because they want their answers. You want to know why? Because she don't care about other people's lives. She don't care about other animals' lives. And she only cares about herself and what she can get out of the YouTubes. Uh, flexing a hot husband, right? This is all she cares about. What is wrong with people? High. That's what I want to know. Why were you driving high? Don't Farida, because she don't care. If she wants to get high, she don't care if it's in the car. She'll get high. She's an addict. But try to deny it. Answer that fucking question. Why were you driving high? That's what I want to know. Don't even try to say that you are not. Well, now she's going to say she wasn't. <laughs> All right, whose kid's screaming? Y'all need to not have kids around. Uh, but you want her, you demand she tell you why she was high? <laughs> oh, she loves when you people say that. I love it. She said Farida was not driving high because she said, don't you dare say you weren't driving high. Farida, I was not driving high. See? Why do they think they can make her tell the truth? Why are they so angry? Farida, don't be mad. Don't be mad. You got to play chess. Don't play her crap game of checkers. So, Foodie, I have different viewpoints and see things different than other people. And we all have our own. The only thing that will get to Foodie, Foodie Beauty, if you all need some help, I can help you. Do you want to know what is the only thing that will get to her? Keep talking about baby BBJ's claws how they grew into the pads and what it must have been like to actually walk around with sharp claws embedded in your paws. And that's why she was shaking in pain in front of Pete's. Uh, that is why uh, she cried out in the middle of the night in pain while you slept on your edibles. Now that, my dears, is one thing you can use for a long time. And wait for those lab tests to come back. Wait for those lab tests to come back and the truth of the neglect comes out. This is going to be keeping her away for a while. You were driving high, Chantel. You were driving high. I don't want you driving high because I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, and that's the other thing. If you know she's driving high and you know where she's at, then you just have authorities deal with it. And no, then guess what will embarrass her? I don't know, going to jail for a DUI? How embarrassing, how embarrassing. But she didn't get caught, did she? She wins. Okay, so it just shows that you don't change. Okay, it just showed right now. We just said right, that that this, like you were talking about, Sarah, actions speak louder than words. And uh, when you when you leave here, how you're going to act? You right now, you just proved you will never change. It's over and over and over and over. That's right, Farida. It's been six years. She will never change. 
In fact, she treaded lightly on YouTube when she started out, did she not? Um, she treaded lightly. Uh, she didn't know where she could get attention. And then she started saying, well, shit, I can put my binge eating on YouTube and people will be disgusted. Awesome. So she did. Started getting viewers. Then what'd she do? When the mukbang was kind of getting boring, she started telling shocking stories of the crap she did to people and the way she treated men. Like, um, and do these disgusting, um, I don't know, car trysts and uh, doing it on a, on a rock with a homeless guy um, for food and stupid shit. Um, she did that and got more and more of an audience. Then they started talking about her everywhere. You think she's going to change? I mean, seriously. You really think she's going to change now? No, she's doubling down. She just went full religion. Now she whistled in people like Farida, who are Muslim, living in a Muslim community. She's getting a new audience. The other people got bored with her. She don't care if people hate her or love her. As long as she gets her paycheck. That's it. No, I am, I'm not making a million t-shirts that you guys aren't going to buy. But you're right. Hotter than a bean fart would be good on a t-shirt. My favorite is that mug, Say When. That shit cracks me up. That's like Wyatt Earp. That, that was Wyatt Earp. <laughs> Say When. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, so no, please don't give her your energy. Please don't. Keep trying to make her accountable. The only time you need to, when you figured out a button, her hot button, her embarrassment button, that, my dears, would be FFG and BBJ. Like I said, FFG's playing chess. Don't play checkers with this one. Don't give her your energy. Over the same thing, mm. the way you speak. We all know you so well. Yep. And you were driving high. Don't you dare. Don't okay, Farida, if you know her so well, don't. God, now the landlord's calling. It's going to be a day again. Day three, can't even do my show. Don't you dare lie. Don't you dare oh. lie. Mm. To, uh, it, so, Chantel, this, what's a, it pisses me off oh, that you put oh, that hijab on and act like you're a good Muslim. Oh. And here you uh, from, Oh, you guys, you guys, don't bring up the Muslim thing. Um, energy from God will take care of that problem. D let God take care of that. We're not down here. Oh, my God. People need to come in your house. Here you are sitting here. I'm sorry. Just like. No, no, you go. Go ahead. No, go ahead. What does real abuse look like? You're what, gaslighting what do you mean us by now, real abuse? You are gaslighting us. Do you us. mean hitting a, a cat? Do you mean kicking a cat like Nada did to BBJ? Is that real abuse? I would think ongoing neglect, such as not bathing her, brushing her, putting food in a clean bowl, in a clean area, allowing her nails to grow into her paws, which doesn't happen overnight. That happens over days and weeks. Two grown adults could not observe cat's nails, seeing them grow into her paws. I the did not even got close to the pads stop, that should have been taken putting words in. Well, this is what happens when... Um, I, you know what? This happens to everyone that gets their button pushed by a personality type like Chantal's. And Chantal gets totally entertained by it because she really don't give a fuck. But this is how people react um, until you figure out what they're doing, right? So you can all fall victim. Even, like, even if you've had an authoritarian parent. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not talking like when you're a kid because that's their job to keep you alive and safe. I'm talking about when you become an adult and they still continue on with their authoritarian um, behavior, right? Um, that's when you go, you know what? Enough's enough. I've got my wings. I'm going to fly. We're not alike. It's no big deal. I don't feel any certain way about it, but I'm going to break the ties. And if you can emotionally break your ties from her, 
then you're in the chess game. But if you're going to give her your anger, your sadness, your frustration, that's what she wants because it makes her relevant. It gives her attention. It's that simple. That's all this is about. And she's even admitted in many lives that she needs the attention. She needs attention 24-7. She is annoying. She is, she is, uh, she will drain anyone's energy as long as she gets their attention. Her family, her friends, Pete. Um, she really didn't care about the cats except for they were emotional. They were emotionally there when she needed them. That was about it. But when it came to dumping money in them and actually being a mother figure, no, she don't have that in her. Yeah, be numb to her. Absolutely. Just go, that's cute. Like when she said, um, Sam's nails were fine. You see what I see what she's doing here? She's trying to get them madder. They she knows they ain't talking about Sam, but she's trying to fire them up more. And it works. Yeah, the cats were just extras on the show so she could get the cat lover community. Her whole channel is about what community can she get attention from. It's that simple. And she hates some reaction channels because we're playing chess. No. I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry. I did not fertility shame you. She I did not all, fertility shame you. That is so you. stupid. This is what I do. Oh, yeah, and then she says that. She goes, you fertility shamed me. She <laughs> well, you had two chances to have a kid, but you chose to get rid of them. So that's the way life goes. Have them while you can, because there may be a time you can't, which is why most people have their kids in their 20s and early 30s. It's seriously, because your body starts, you know, going through some shit. So there you go told you and this is the truth first of all you're making fun of me which i could care less oh she doesn't speak good arabic how do you know how do you know if you could care less then don't give her the energy you speak Sp palestinian arabic she doesn't know anything about arabic it's just a hot button she can push on you because Salam you don't speak arabic so how would you even know yeah a second of all what I said was something that's the truth because I lived there. I grew up there and I know how it is. You don't prove yourself. She'll use it against you. Don't prove yourself. Um, you can't have children. And the most, one of the most important things uh, is for <laughs> that to carry the family name. Okay. <clears throat> then don't tell me he's modern schmodern. Uh, don't give me that. Kuwait is, is a conservative Muslim country. And his mm. family is going to want him to have children. And Kuwait, you can't adopt. So don't be telling infertil infertility shame because I told Murad. So how is that his family okay with that? Like she she can't have kids. She has a terrible no. life. You know. Chantal, I've never called you a hippo. I've never said that about you in your life. Who cares if you call her a hippo? Right? Hippos move slow. <laughs> Who cares if you call her a hippo? I mean, I wouldn't. It's stupid. I mean, call her what she is. Uncaring. I mean, that's exactly what she is. She don't care. Quit wasting your energy on this one. So if, you, if somebody said it, wasn't me. So don't put that on to me. Oh, one I did person see. says you one thing. Like blue it's cheese, not a collective. You said you did. It's not a collective group. If one one reactor says one thing about you, that is on them. You do not. She said, but for Rita, it's not your business about us having kids. They're not going to have kids. So why even bring it up? They're not. They're not in any way, shape, or form. Because um, Salah will choose a woman, a woman to bear his children to carry on his name. End of. And his bloodline. End of. That's it. I don't care what she thinks. I don't care what he's told her. That is going to be the fact. Do not lump that on an entire community. It's not all of us saying it. That's one person. Keep it straight. And Pete said you smell like blue cheese. So go talk to your ex-best friend about that. He this said is that. the reason, Chantal. Right there, you guys. Um, that should have basically just stopped what you're talking about. Pete's is the one that said she smells like blue cheese and she stinks all the time. Pete said it. Has she attacked Pete's on her channel? No, 
She blames you guys because you're the ones that will react. Pete's won't react. He don't give a shit. So he see, laughs about it. You already said you're. Oh, I'm gonna. You're on. You on, don't take accountability for shit. She never will. You're on YouTube. If you don't want people in your business, you're on YouTube. I was translating. Your mama wanted me to translate, so I was interviewing Murad. And what it doesn't matter, Farida. You did a good job. Just because she's jealous that you can speak Arabic and speak to Murad, she's jealous. That's it. End of. You should have just said, you're just jealous because I can speak Arabic and you can't. Things I asked him that didn't make sense to me is how is this 20-year-old man wanting want to be with somebody? And his He don't. He don't. It's money. They're scamming her. They're playing chess. <laughs> Family's gonna want because family uh, it always interferes with your choices, <laughs> and family want you to marry somebody that is that's healthy, that can have children, that's respectful. That it's not even about that, Farida. He's scamming her, and when she loses all her money and has nothing to offer financially, he will discard her. End of. Educated. That's a good housewife, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And having kids is literally on the top one. That and you're none of those. So then she goes, "Not everyone." Well, not everyone. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> of course, he has no long-term plans with her. Period. And she'd be lucky if he don't leave her in another country, like Turkey. Remember, they're gonna go travel. He's not gonna leave her in Kuwait. He's going to leave her in another country. That's what's going to happen. And we're just here to see. Say, I told you so. These things. You don't meet one single KPI that a mother-in-law would want in any culture. That what is she doing while they're yelling at her? Um, she's probably texting Missy Moo and laughing because they're both watching it together. That's what. what. Look what I say next. Watch him get all worked up. That's exactly what she's doing. Don't come out. And she's probably high. <laughs> trying to say all this stuff now. You, what did you wish, Didi? Saying that you 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 wanted Didi to get. You know what? I can't say that on here because you 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 know what you did. You know what you yes. said. Oh. She she does. That you wanted Didi at best to get choked out and hurt by another. That's because she was jealous of Didi having the life she wanted. Didi won. See what happens when people win. Didi won. FFG won. Right? That's why she's in your chat. That's, she's in this, this chat because she's already figured out what kind of people you are. She already figured out that uh, she can get you to rage. She can get you to um, uh, hate her and yell and make her significant and hoping every reaction channel will play this clip or this part of the live um, so she doesn't get forgotten on the YouTubes while she's taking a hiatus, while she's waiting for the test results to come from BBJ and get spread all over the internet. Right? Uh, I probably won't be live for a couple of weeks. Uh, is that how long it's going to take uh, for everybody to release how sick BBJ is and has been and it was neglect um, and, and shit. And then next week, um, she's got to let everything die down for another week. But she'll be in all your chats. She'll be watching. She'll be lurking. She'll be putting out her community post of how she wants to change. I realize. Oh, shut it. You're never going to get past the BBJ thing. Nice try, though. That's what you said about Dee Dee. You didn't give a crap what happened to her. And I've got a clip of you yeah, saying that, so don't even try and pretend. She's saying uh, Dee Dee was abusive to her. No, she wasn't. I'm going to give Chantel the link if anybody needs to get down. She ain't going to join your panel. Are you kidding? She's too much of a puss. She's too much of a baby. Because she can do it in the chat, but she can't do it on panel. We done seen that with MFW, right? Get asked the hard questions and run and then cry to your Beezers. Yeah, yeah nice try. Um, if you want to come up and talk, let's have a grown woman conversation. How about that? Ooh. How was Dee Dee? You want her to have a grown conversation. Really? Oh, so Nader and Didi emotionally abused her. Yeah, well, you're married, living your best life, so move along.
abusive to you? How how was she abusive? That to doesn't you? matter. She could say the worst things about you in the world. You don't wish that on another woman. Let's have a grown woman conversation. Absolutely. Because even we talk, we don't we don't like you. We don't it, even. It, say that. Oh, she can't panel up, guys. She can't. She's high in a hijab. Either we, we don't ever say, say that. that. An empath would never say such a thing. A victim would never say such a thing. They would never want that for another woman ever. So that's true. Well, didn't you tell her to eat a bag of dicks and die in a ditch? <laughs> Make up your mind, doe-eyed cookie. Is that what you want for a woman? I don't want Chantel to die. She's like one of the best manipulators on the YouTube. I love, I love the, the whole um, specimen that she is. I know she got them all riled up, right? <laughs> Yeah, you still didn't win, Chantal, because you already you already figured all these women out. That's why you're in there. Just why are you hating on me so bad? What did I do to you? It's okay. She goes, you don't think logically when you're in an abusive relationship. Are you serious? You forgot the question mark, you illiterate. But anyway, you weren't abused. You couldn't control that or he didn't buy your bullshit. Right? And the stuff you guys did in bed while you were all jacked up on drugs, that don't even count as abuse because you were out of your minds. Right? Um, you were like wacky woo. And you kept driving back to the guy. So that debunks your abuse story. But you keep that going. It just, you know, it's, I mean, it, it, people are, she does, not everybody's going to agree with you, unfortunately. That's the yeah. She said, Foodie Beauty said, and yet you wished me dead, doe I? Yeah, she really did, didn't she? Sure of. Um, that's the nature of being here. I'm s I don't know how you do YouTubers do it. How do you do it? Um, if you are a YouTuber that feels things about strangers or you have to follow, uh, you have to create a panel of um, like-minded people, um, I don't know. It, it's not a smart way to run a YouTube channel, I'll tell you that much. Because eventually, if you're all talking to each other in the private sector and gossiping, and, and then somebody turns on you because you do something, yeah, then they slander you. See how that works? So if you're slanderers, and your gossipers in a group, then eventually, listen, we got, we got the pipe guy here. It's a whole thing here, just like the last two days. But anyway, um, then it's not gonna end well for you. If you're a YouTuber like Yaba, FFG, possibly me, um, um, you're gonna get hate, but you're not, I don't know. I don't. I don't even know how to tell you. You just can't feel anything. You know what I'm saying? You just can't feel anything. They're strangers. Okay. I don't take. We don't go on every day, and we we, we take right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't we take. Have real I don't take that, that, that we like. I just like realized that. that there are several people in the world, and they have their own opinions, and that's okay with me. Yeah. I don't take, I try not to take it personal, so. Thank God there are nice people in the world like Sarah T, though, because if everybody walked around like me, the world would be a very angry, fist-fighting kind of place. We need people like Sarah T to make the world softer and gentler. Because yeah. we can't all carry the same energy, and that's good. She won't come up. She's too much of a puss, Sarah. Why do you have to go, foodie? Yeah, she's not coming up. Yeah, no, All right. that's why. Supposed to now, I'll believe everything you say when I see it. Until then. Uh, eat a dick, Take care. Take care of this. Douche. Douche. She, Chantel can't take responsibility, and that's her problem. Yeah. Instead of when we brought up the cat, she goes, but I was going to take her to the vet, but you didn't. She knows that. You don't have to keep pointing it out. 
Oh, the pipe guy's gonna be coming in the back door. It's gonna get nuts here. Jaxie! Thank you. The coulda, woulda. Go living. Yeah, I noticed that. It's not Sarah P. It's Sarah T. It's just a little, like, tongue face or emoji thing. It's no big deal. Tomatoes, tomatoes. I do. Chantal, and, I'm and done. where is your apology for it? Where's her? You're demanding an apology from a stranger who puts content on the internet? Are you kidding me? This is, see, this, this I can't do. This is why I can't, like, be good friends with creators because there's always something that just makes no sense to me. And one of them is, how can you watch somebody on the internet and then you demand apologies, you demand accountability? She's gonna be who she is. Walk away, don't cover her anymore, right? So you're obviously invested. Yeah, she's laying pipe. She, she knows how to make money, it's called marketing, right? Just because you could never be like her, you could never, I could never neglect my dogs I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. That's my cross to bear. She doesn't bear crosses. Do you understand? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. It, it, it didn't annoy me. Why would that annoy me? It your, just wasn't part of the subject we were talking about. Where is where are you? Where is you taking responsibility in this situation? She never will, Sarah Jane funny you know what's really really funny she can take the time to sit down before she came home in kuwait to organize get online and book herself a couple of hundred dollars worth of lush products but and don't forget and some edibles can't get online to book a cat appointment and because she don't care she's not nurturing she's not empathetic and a couple of hundred dollars to get her cat checked exactly. out. Exactly. Lush yeah. is obviously the priority. And it's not doing your skin any good. It still looks like shit. No matter how many filters you look, you're as rough as rocks. Yeah. She is. The Wait, she said you use your channel to go to Elsie's Live now? Oh, we bullied her, guys. We're just Aww. like a police <laughs> No, you guys were very kind. Are you going to read? No. Probably. No, she won't. She's no. She's a nice person. She doesn't want to be mean anymore. She's lovely. Sorry. The pipe guy's here. Okay. Jaxie. Look at look at Nana. Shush. Little baby. Baby. Shh, 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 shh. Oh my god. And you wonder why I didn't go live for two days? This is the what it's been for two days. Look at him. He's a big guard dog. Jexy poops. Tig. If I put Tigs in his crate, it'll it'll stop. But I like him to run around. I put up a barrier so they can't get there. Jexy, look at you got a goofy look because he only has two teeth on the bottom. So his lips go all goofy. He goofies. Love you. Crossing his little legs. Okay, you you better. No, still not. Oh goodness. It's all it's all good. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. It's gonna be nonstop. I'll come back over when you can use the water again. Listen, I'm supposed to be gone this week, so uh, next week I can't wait to get out of here. I need a break from this house and all the shenanigans. All right, he's gone. Go find something to do. Got me sweating like a hoe in church. You got me sweating like Chantal in church. No, you're done. The she yeah, she, she's not going to admit that she was driving high. So that's, I'm, is she I'm, I'm actually driving? Because that's a criminal act. Yeah, exactly. Criminal. She's not. Yeah. It's criminal. No, I said I wasn't going to go live, but now I have to because Sarah Jane and her panel said bad things to me. No, I said bad things. <laughs>
See, did you see what Chantel said? I wasn't going to go live, but I guess I'm going to have to because Sarah Jane on our panel. Live. Um, and I don't give a shit. I honestly don't give a shit. She's a nasty piece of work, and she's one of the... I will see. I would, I would love to see you review some of her... Yeah. Um, um, her. Um, Joe, you know what she's going to say now. Where's your man? Where's that... that, that My man is, is asleep after. in the bedroom after... I can't even pe believe people have to... It. She flexes with a 29-year-old, right? And then she triggers women by saying, where's your man? <laughs> I'm sorry, women. Do you need a man? Why would you go, well, my husband's here and I have a boyfriend and I have a great husband. My husband's better than yours. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. Even if I was a single woman, I'd be like, well, I don't need a man because I can buy myself flowers, right? Write my name in the sand. God, what is with these women? Stop it. She's just poking you, trying to find your little nuke buttons. And here you are, giving them all to her, right? Yeah, just say I don't need a man. You're the one that needs a man. I don't need a man. Thank you for ordering face cream. There's only three left now. And it's going to be a while. Into once, and my <laughs> man is going to sleep because he has... Oh, a you're going to say the same about me. She's going to say the same. And Sarah, she's going to say, where are your men? Where My husband has a job. Guess he what? I don't need a man, Chantel. Not a... And if you have a man, it's, 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 if you have a man, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, what is this, 1950? Why does anybody need a man? Only lazy, stay at home. Um, I can't do shit for myself. I can't even wash my own feet. Are the kind of women that need a man? The St. The Stepford Wives? Come on now. In this day and age, women, they're out there traveling in a van. They're pulling a camper with a truck. Right? They're building a cabin. Who wants to live her life? Says nobody ever. Oh my God. No, thank you. Um, and it's a uh, men, these women, their men aren't their full focus. They actually like, have lives. That's ridiculous to, to even think that. that. Like, what are and, we um, in Yeah. Show? Look at the reaction she, she created. <laughs> Good job, Chantal. Kudos for pushing their buttons. Good for you. Like This will give you something to talk about for content. You laying in bed going, what content can I put out there that takes everyone's minds off of BBJ getting blood work this week? Huh. Huh. Oh, I know. I'll go live and I'll say I had to go live because of these women even though you showed up in the chat and started poking them, that's not how the story will come out. They were in there and this and that, and then I had to go in there, and then they did this. Yeah, look at you finding content on the internet. Hey, you should try with a story on the news. Make it look like you have some education. Or whatever. My husband and I, with the last two international holidays we've taken, we've taken them separately. He went to Indonesia, I went to America, because we don't have to live in each other's pockets. I don't need to know where he is. Oh, geez. Don't get defensive about having a man and what he does for you. Nobody cares. 24-7. I don't know where he is when he... I mean, good for you, but I wouldn't explain that to a stranger on the internet just because they poked me. I don't give a rat's ass. And Foodie Beauty don't care either. She's work. We barely text because when we're at home, we spend time together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when we. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go, <old> people. <laughs> here we go. Oh, my God. This is why women should never get together. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I would go to like some family reunions and I'm all about like who can make me laugh. And then you got the little gaggle of women, right? Right? And they're talking about the one person that didn't come to the reunion. Well, you know, it's probably because of her man. And blah, 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 blah. I step away from that shit so fast because I don't care why the woman is not at the family reunion. Right? I don't care. 
It's none of my business. She probably had her reasons. But they want to all sit around and be chuckleheads. I can't do the chucklehead gossip, right? I'm all into figuring out um, what's going on with Salah. <laughs> the, the phone calls won't stop. Anywho, um, like I'm just all about trying to figure out um, what Salah's going to do with her. Because we already know he's not in love with her. Give me a fucking break. And what man takes 4,000 and 5,000 and 1,000 and 600 and 200 like Nader did from her? And what woman gives her money up? That would be like, okay, you're not a man. I'm out. I mean, any woman with any intelligence would be like, why does this guy want my money? For investments, well, you show me a, a fucking uh, marketing plan, right? Show me a SWOT analysis of your business. Present it to me like I'm an investor. And I'm going to need some paperwork. I'm going to need some signed paperwork. Anyone with a brain would do that. And so why anybody even gives her a brain or intelligence besides a needy, needy, insecure woman Blows my mind. We go places by ourselves. I don't have to ask permission. He. Oh my God. Can you even believe this? Oh my God. If I ever had to ask my husband permission to go somewhere, I would be single. <laughs> okay. To vice versa, too, by the way. My husband can say tomorrow, you know what? I'm going to jump in Max and I'm going to drive it down to Florida and, and just kick the tires on this thing. I'd be like, do you need a duffel bag? <laughs> right? It's called too secure adults. This is the most insecure female I've ever seen in my life. And you guys are going to try to prove you're more secure than her by defending yourselves against her? Come on, stop it. This is the only subject that should be talked about is what kind of health BBJ is in. That's it. That's it. He doesn't have to ask me permission. We just <laughs> know because we are full individuals on our no, own. No, but you know, yeah, that's what she's going to say I right won't now. die. If he left me, I wouldn't die. If I left Ooh, him, whoops. he wouldn't die. That's why we're still together because we want to be there. He doesn't need me. I don't need him. Right. Then it should go without saying. Just live your life. Who cares what she does? Who cares what she says? Nobody. Where's your okay. husband? Where's their husbands? Oh, I, yeah. I forgot your own identities. That's why. Yeah. I, I, I trust asked him. Permission. And he trusts I, I, guys, I asked him permission. I have five minutes left, and then I have to go back to the room. <laughs> Put the chains back on, you know. Yes. Yes. You gotta keep the your eyeballs on them, Frida. If you don't keep your eyeballs on your husbands, then you have to wander <laughs> off. And no, but I'm like, I'm in up. the same. I'm like, yeah, defending yourself to a narcissist is a waste of time. Well, and you have to be able to identify them and know what you're dealing with. I mean, she's proved herself time and time again that every controversial thing she does is to keep her relevant and get attention. She don't even care what comes out of her mouth. She don't care if uh, she lies. I mean, she laughs when you guys you know, accuse her of being high while she's driving and she knows she's high and that's called gaslighting. And you guys, she knows she's high. So what are you going to do about it? That's the question. Are you just going to make panels and, and reaction channels about it? Or are you just, you know, wait for whoop, whoop, here comes the popo, right? Watch her get handcuffed and shit. That's what I'm waiting for because that stuff never ends well. Eventually, your karma runs out, right? Your luck. Your luck runs out. Right? We've seen it on YouTube. They think they can just sneakily do shit. Eventually they get caught. End of. And then comes the, the consequences. We know she hates consequences. Like the whole FFG playing chess game, right? Right? and got BBJ, and now we get to find out what a piece of shit she was. That's why she's hiding. That's the only reason. Like, dough where we, it's like, it's not like something. Uh, I guess she lost like 1,300 subs or something, and um, she thinks if she stays silent until everything slides by, right, that um, 
people are going to be left, you know, salivating and waiting for her to come back to hear what the the queen has to say, right? The royal Chantal has to say, oh my God, she's back. Everybody, she's live. She's back. Oh my God. How can people just sit here and watch her put on lipstick and watch? Oh my God. That is like, I would rather be at the shopping district, to be honest with you, right? Digging through sales than to sit and stare at her eating or a gluttony or her beauty or any of that bullshit. The best thing that happened on the internet was the CPAP rescue and the cats being saved. That's it. In her entire time on YouTube, those are the only two things that actually exposed who she is and exposed that she wasn't afraid of her abuser because she went and knocked on his door while he had a woman there. And I'm sorry, but if someone's abusing you and you can drive home and get away, you don't ever go back. So she can keep running that game and it's bullshit. And yes, I do believe Sam's Bar Lounge was her channel. And people worked with her to try to destroy Natter. Nader destroys himself. He didn't need your help, foodie beauty. Yeah, a lot of women, obviously, the same the same way. It's not like something, oh, wow, really? You know, I'll, it's not like, um, God, I can't even speak English. Now she's going to go after my English, too. <laughs> Farida, your, your Arabic is better than her French. Let's just put it at that. It is. Yeah. One we, 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 we. Then. Still defending how we talk. Please don't give her the energy. Actually, she's bored with you, chuckleheads. She's bored with you. She's like, eh. I triggered him. I'm out. That was it. She wins. No, she didn't win. She just thought she won. There are many women. <laughs> yeah, and she has no shame. She will roll down a hill in a dress and her underwear. Um, in this whole thing, this isn't for Salah. She's using Salah to do it. Um, this is because she wants to trigger a religious um, response. She wants a new group of followers. Hate followers, she don't care. As long as they subscribe to see what she's going to do in a hijab next. This is why she said she hasn't even um, kneeled on a prayer rug. She hasn't bought a prayer rug. She hasn't gone to mosque. Um, none of these things. And she don't plan on it. Yeah, and who pays her to watch her? That's the crazy part. That's probably the craziest part. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. How long do you think she'll keep wearing that getup? Um, I think until she's done with the Kuwait and the Salah arc, for sure. Um, the internet has control over her money, and she knows it. She just doesn't want you to know she knows it, which is why she's on a break because of the BBJ thing. That'll stir up more hate than a religious community. You know what I'm saying? You don't even mess with animal activists, which is why she tried to secretly get rid of her cats to people who wouldn't be on social media. But she did not expect FFG to be able to pull off what she pulled off. And that's why she's the reigning queen. So that's funny. Yeah, and she's not making as much money right now because of the BBJ thing. So she's trying to figure out. Um, right now, she's being quiet because of that. And we got test results coming this week on how bad a shape. Probably kidneys and could have just been on medication and been healed. So that's going to bite her in the ass too, I hope. Um, sometimes you got to knock these people down a peg. I mean, it doesn't mean she'll become an empath and change her behavior. Oh, hell no. She just knows where not to fuck around. And that will be pets. Don't base their worth on... And she'll probably double down and be the best hamster owner in the world just to get back your faith in her. Oh, my God. She's like the worst actress I've ever seen. And gain around. She doesn't or can't understand that. She's incomplete and can't imagine being whole on her own. Thank you. Yes. And you know what? They're, they're, sometimes they're overrated. Love you, honey. <laughs> He's like next to the <laughs> they are, they are. <laughs> Well, and the problem with BBJ's food is BBJ didn't like the chicken stew, right? Uh, but Sam loved it. So she just kept buying it because she wouldn't buy two different cat foods. What for, right? Um, so 
BBJ just got treats thrown on the floor, and that is not good for their kidneys. Any vet will tell you that. Um, some people buy those disgusting ones. I don't buy any of them, right? My dog gets carrots. He likes lettuce. He's like a bunny. Mr. Tig's like a bunny. But anyway, um, he gets real... Like yesterday, they got some rotisserie chicken, uh, just the white meat and some of the dark, honestly. But it didn't have any herbs or anything on it. Um, and B yeah, BBJ needed a senior cat food and whiska, whatever it is. BBJ ate the shit out of that. So how could you let your cat go for years? Because Pete's even said she didn't like cat. She never liked cat food. Well, she liked the cat food Chantal was feeding her. Cats have a way, uh, they have a palate, they have taste, um, not just treats. Um, and the cat lived on treats. So I'm pretty sure we got a kidney problem. But hopefully uh, the vet will recommend an amazing food for BBJ. And BBJ will be walking around in her Gucci collar, all groomed, right? And happy as ever. And hopefully she will live another five to seven years just to shove it in her face. You know what I'm saying? Cats can get revenge. Maybe a bit. We'll talk later. And that, that that can, can, I can see where that can go into, like, that That falls in line even with the relationship. You don't you don't base your whole identity, even when you're in a relationship, on one person. Well, she does. Because she has no identity. Have you not noticed all the identities she's taken? Or pretends just to piss women off. Like she said, um, I'm going to start exercising. Maybe I'll start belly dancing because Farida's a belly dancer. So it's just to poke and get attention. Girl, please film that shit. In fact, get a hula hoop. <laughs> Why don't you be like one of those girls with the hula hoops that light up? See, she won't do that stuff. It's only things that she steals from other YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? Um, she just tries to steal their identity because it makes her feel like a uh, connection, I suppose. It's weird. She's weird. You just don't do it. Like, it's okay to have separate lives. You don't have to make your identity. Oh, thank you for the permission, Sarah Jane. Moving on. As you all sit on a panel. <laughs> have a separate identity. It's my totally okay. It's totally fine. I can say what I want when I'm drunk. It has, it doesn't mean anything. And you can I can just forget all about it tomorrow. No, she wasn't even drunk in the Cuba rage. She was just mad at Nader because he didn't want her and he was with Didi. And he wouldn't he couldn't go to Cuba with her. <laughs> she was all alone in Cuba trying to make friends. <laughs> I love that. That was gold. All we seen was cafeteria, hotel room, cafeteria. Ho She's at a resort. The only exciting was when she did the karaoke. I'm like, good for you, girl, right? We gave her a cheer, right? Uh, right, it was fun. Finally, some content. And then, you know, she just wants to be wanted. She wants to flex on the internet that she can get a man. Well, even if Salah dumps her, she's going to say he was an abuser and, and she left. It, it, she definitely will not... Say, you know, I it, we are the I told you so's, right? You're welcome, freaking the sheets. Thank you for the two dollars. So anyway, yeah, you don't need to get on a panel. And I mean, this one's just all scared some for some reason. Just log off. Why do you want to be a part of this? If you are such a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you're going to listen, Sarah, whatever your name is, this one. Whatever your name is. Um, so, I have a quest question. Why are you sitting on this panel just trying to remain, I don't know, quiet? I don't understand. I would have logged off. I would have been like, nope, not for me. I'm out. Right? This ain't my cup of tea. Jaxie, what have I told you? You're not protecting the house, baby. You're not. That's not even your job. This guy's a little leg up. Um, yeah, Sarah T, whatever her name is. Like, seriously, uh, thank you, Popper Lies, for the $2 super chat. I mean, honestly, I'm not even trying to be mean to this girl, but it's kind of like, one of these things don't belong with the other. Remember that show, right? You had to pick which one didn't belong with the others. Yeah, I would pick Sarah T, right? 
Yeah, she's a clutch your pearls kind of person. Do we need that person on a panel? Because that will become Chantel's target. This one. She will do a live and drag this girl through the dirt. Let me tell you why. Because she will get a response. Crying, upset. I did not. I was this, I was that. That's what's going to happen. It ain't even about liking her or not liking her. If you agree with all the things she's done and you don't want to hate the content she's put out to hurt people, then I wouldn't even be on this panel because you see the energy shifted. Because it'll be in the past, so it doesn't matter because it's in the past. Food yeah. logic. I mean, I got to be honest. If I was... If I would have been doe-eyed cookie, she came up, she did a whole drop the mic, eat a bag of dicks and stick it up your ass. She did a whole drop the mic, right? But then she went into defense mode. Oh, you missed the mark. You should have dropped that mic and then walked away. That's all you had to do. Christy, thank you for the $5 <laughs> super chat. Yeah, yeah, they went into defense mode. Anything that they felt some sort of way about that related to their life, they're being in defense of. Farida and her accent, or not her accent, her Arabic, um, doe-eyed over a husband. Where's your husband? Where's your man, right? Sarah over everything. Sarah Jane, I don't even know. Jack says he's done with chins. Right, Jax? Thanks for the $2 freaking the sheets. <laughs> Didn't you see her playing with that Ouija board, JB? Oh, yeah. You know... But it is. It's why she came uh, in here, so Allie, she didn't look like a victim. Um, no, she did not come in there to look like a victim. She came in there to stir up the hornet's net. It was like throwing a fox in the chicken pen. That's exactly why she came in. She wanted to take over your live stream. And she did. ha, ha, ha. I agree. I agree. She's in the manipulation phase. And Amen. And yeah. she knows that her channel is tanking. And um, yes, Sherry's not a beezer. She is not. No, a beezer. she's not a beezer. I thought maybe she was high. That's why she came in. I really did like. She maybe she's high and bored. And then she she probably is high. And I get. And let's not let Chantel. Oh my God. Up. Sherry, it's not, if I called you out on something, that is not attacking you. That is talking to you. It's not attacking you. I haven't invited anyone to attack you. I have something. Oh, yeah, they should have booted her right from the get-go. That would have upset her more than anything. She hates to be ignored. She hates to lose. She is working overtime trying to figure out how to get back or get a new audience. Yeah, she, she wants a new audience because everybody else figured her out. It's kind of like when she has depleted all the energy from a friend and she's done with them, like Pete's. She already knows, even if she said that she probably won't talk to Pete's again, she already knows that'll upset the internet because, you know, loyalty, whatever. Uh, but the truth is, when it all blows up with Salah, she already knows that Pete's will give up everything he's doing and be there for her. She, she already knows that. Unless he starts running his mouth on the internet and telling all the shit she said and did. If he don't do that, then you already know that he's in love with her and he will be and he thinks someday that they will be together. For real. Because what other reason does Pete have if he's a social justice warrior for the shit she said about LGBTQ+, the shit she said about Charlie Gold? Like, he has never raged at her with his social issues. Horse shit. They're both a pain in the ass, to be honest. But yeah, she rolled up in there, and they didn't kick her out. And said, no, not today, Satan. That is counter-argumentative to what you just said. That is not an attack. It's a conversation. Do you feel attacked? Then block me. If you don't want to, well, yeah, well, I'm on panel now, but if you don't like what I say, block me. Oh, Blondie says she searched her name. I guess she saw us live. Mm-hmm. Of course. She searches her name. Holy shit. She saw you were live. She came in and said hi, and all you had to do was have Antonis or somebody just block her. 
and she wouldn't have got the attention. You got, you got this one all stressed out. <laughs> you got people fighting with doe-eyed in the chat now. She came in and disrupted. She created the energy of your life. Don't you love that? I, I, I don't know what happened, Sherry, but it didn't sound like an adult conversation. It sounded, yeah, it didn't sound right, but whatever, right? Yeah, and I don't even tag Chantel. Well, I tag her, but I don't. If you tag her, then you're whistling her in. If you're tagging her for views, Beezer Queen, oh shit, Salah, Chantal, that's all you tagged was her. Then you whistled her in. You whistled her in. It's calling her. They're like, come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> but you could have said, you know what, Chantal? I'm glad you came into my live, but not today. I've got a panel today. So if you don't want to join the panel and you think you're going to stir up shit in my chat, you're sadly mistaken. You should have took control of your channel. Not let Chantal. <laughs> we know uh, WTF says Chantel. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I love her too. I love Queen of What the Fuck. She's awesome. I love her channel. Queen um, of oh, is nice to say hi. <laughs> now I lost her comment. No. Where did she go? Let me see. Yeah, exactly, Popper. You say panel or bounce. Okay, stop it. People are going to come in and out. No, come here. I mean, yeah, you gotta run. Oops, yeah, you gotta run your 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 live stream. I mean, we've had people come in, try to you know derail the chat, and my wrenches are like, not today. That's what my wrenches do. Trust your wrenches. Thank you, freaking the sheets, and I would have trusted you to block, boot her and block her, or you could have at least said to me, "Hey, she's in the chat," and I'll be like, "What do you want? You come in here and try to derail the chat. You picked the wrong chat." And then I was said, freaking the sheets, take care of business or whoever has a wrench. If I can find it. Uh, Chantel is the result of parents telling their children they can do no wrong. Yes. 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 Well, she was a teen. Her mom was a teen mom. You know what I'm saying? She basically did the best she could. And, okay. We already know that teen moms, your daughter can end up being your best friend because they feel a love, like a unconditional love, right? And I believe her mom has unconditional love for her. Yeah, summoning her like the candy man, right, UK Frostbite? Um, so yeah, like I, I think her mom um, did the best she could as a teen mom, I get it. And grandma didn't want to deal with her. Grandma had her own issues, right? And um, I think she just created her own character. And... Um, there was no consequences. That's the problem. Like, look at Farah and her daughter. I mean, her daughter, if you ever watched Farah, um, she was a teen mom and she's still like a teenager. And now her daughter's all messed up. Um, she's a little brat on the TikTok. And um, that child is going to be just like Chantal because Farah's daughter filled her she filled her emotions from the man, the dad that died, and Chantal's dad walked away. So Chantal filled those emotions. And um, you kind of can lose sight of your job as a mom when you, you know, just think your kid can do no wrong. So, yeah, I mean, I get there's people out there that were a teen mom and they did a good job. But there's some that don't, especially ones that are emotionally needy. Like, apparently, Farah, she's always been emotionally needy. Yeah, Farah messed Sophia up, absolutely. So there are these cases, and Chantal's one of them. I'm not saying all teen moms do that. We're talking about the ones that have needs, and then their child fulfills their needs. So now they become best friends instead of mother-daughter. You save the best friends for when your kids are adults. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Um, the, I, I am, you know, I think I'm naive because I'm willing angry. to admit I don't know everything. Why are you calling me naive? Here we go. Now they're coming after her. Who's coming after? Who's calling her naive? 
Oh, Jennifer Convertibles. She's probably a beezer. Sarah T's naive, but prays for the hippos. Yeah, they're going to start poking her. She should have left the panel immediately. Now she's going to be prey. Bitter doocy, I let my wound fester moist leakage. Thank you for the $2. Teen mom here, my daughter knew not to play with me. Exactly, like I said, it's not all cases, but it's definitely this case. And Farah and Sophia. Huh? What? Well, Sarah's just an empath, right? She's young. She's um, not been through it in life yet. She hasn't probably come across people like Chantal who've ruined her life or drained her of all her energy, left her a pile of mashed potatoes on the floor. Then she had to stand up, dust herself off, and grow some balls, right? She ain't there yet. No, never found Willie's missing ear. Poor, poor goat. Still missing an ear. It's all right. He's disabled. We still love him. Yeah, you got to learn to have boundaries, Sarah T. You got to learn to, um, st or just don't be on this platform. Trust that. Someone was calling me naive. It's, no, it's just, you know, Sarah. I might have to block them. I don't know. I feel like they hate hey, them. Let's just, I can't let's, tell. Let's, let's just, just block the people it out. that bother you. That's all. Yeah, sorry, I interrupted. Yeah, you're okay. you're okay. Well, of course Chantal would start having problems with her stepdad. First of all, he's taking the attention away from her mom, you know, from her. Um, and they went and had a child together as a married couple. And that's where her hatred for her sister came from. See, her sister had nothing to do with anything. She was just born and she was horrible to her. Um, because she got attention. That's how simple this is. It's all about attention with Chantal. That's it. End of. She don't even care what the subject is. You honestly are. People love you. Don't worry. I don't think she... But do you see how she went in and poured the gasoline? Then handed the match to the people in here? And pissed off. She dipped out. She didn't come back. See how she did that? And they're still going on. For the hippo, she's paying for somebody who, in Sarah's tea, is a, a worthwhile human being. And people, it's like talking about the deserving poor. If you are in trouble, everybody needs help. If the house was on fire, I would help get Chantal get out. If I saw good luck, her about to step on Lego, would I say something? I would have saved the cats <laughs> first. <laughs> uh, maybe just leaned a, leaned a ladder up to her room. <laughs> no, I would You're on your own. I ain't running into no fire for her. What's the matter with you? I ain't running into fire for anything. Except for my own children and my pet and my husband. But I still ain't running into the fire. I'm going to be smarter than that. That happened. Yes. There is a base human de common decency that we all have for human beings. Sarah has a lot of it. Some of us don't. You know? But don't. Sarah can pray for all the hippos in the world or none of the hippos. That's her prerogative. And I don't think you should give her shit for being a nice person. Yeah. Yeah. When oh, that's the kind she eats. That's the kind she eats is the nice person. Y'all should have cared enough about her to tell her to step down because it's about to get grown and ugly because we're about to change the energy in here. Right? That's all they had to do. Just tell her to step down. She'll end up becoming Chantal's prey. Sit back and watch. If you don't think she isn't, didn't continue to watch this and said, oh yeah, this one. She's my next subject. Uh, seriously, she'll make fun of her? The, oh my God, she became prey. If you cared about her that much, you should have told her to step down and say, girl, we love you, but you better go because... The wildebeest is coming. She's here, and we're going to entertain her. <laughs> you all better know I'm all better people. I'm all better people. Tick, tick, ticky, tick, tick. He, I groomed him and bathed him. He just like a baby deer. Right, poop poops. She will likely make community posts about her, yeah. She just became the weakest link. 
I know. She's gonna listen. Vampires know who to bite. Yeah, she yeah, she watches a lot of react. She just called me weird. I'm weird. Ha! <laughs> you ain't seen weird yet, sweetheart. <laughs> I would have just ignored her. Ah, yeah, kick her out. Get the hell out of here. You got a big ass storm cell? <gasps> Damn. Yeah. Oh, NPDs, vampires, energy suckers. Oh, they love the weak. That'll become, oh my God, content for days. But she's got to get past the BBJ thing because she can't be on here running her. Spaghetti sucker until she finds out the lab results and the overall condition of BBJ. That's why she's taking a hiatus. Uh, because she's waiting for everybody to talk about it and then for it to die down. But, like I said, she's playing checkers. We're playing chess. We'll wait it out. We'll wait it out, foodie. We don't know if she's supposed to be on a plane. She lies so much, you don't even know if she's going to Kuwait. Weird is good, better than boring, right? <laughs> I like being weird because that makes me um, eccentric. It makes me separate from the, the herd. Um, I don't care. I live for it. Jesus, Jesus stood alone, did he not? Jesus stood alone. You're not, no, mm-mm, uh-uh. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, well, you got animal activists. Uh, don't piss those people off. Anyway, she may not come back from this. Nobody cares about the Salat thing. Everybody wants to know if BBJ's okay. She's living in a tent next to the owl house. <laughs> Well, in, in reality, I know, what would Jesus do, right? You should walk around saying that, uh, everything you do, but words mean nothing. It's your actions. You can say anything you want. They're man-made words. Nobody cares. It's your actions in your real life. Coming on here, being a persona, uh, calling out shit, swearing. That Listen, that's people out there telling you about yourself. No, it's the actions. It's the sins. Right? The lying, the cheating, uh, the stealing, the murdering. That's the problem. The gluttony, um, obsession, ha uh, hatred, real hatred. Uh, that stuff, yeah. That, that's actions. Words, they're man-made words. The F word, fornic fornicating under the consent of the king. Man-made word. I use it like a verb, a noun, an adjective, and a pronoun. I love the F word. I love it. Then go in and get a face cream. There's three left. Somebody drop the link. Pete's just, listen, he gets triggered. They do it on purpose. If you ever watch his chat, they're his prey. He's their prey. <laughs> only because he's associated with Chantal. So there's that. And his channel only built after being associated with Chantal. His channel used to suck until he started doing uh, live streams with Chantal. Yeah, Jesus died for our sins, not our personalities, right? Not for our verbiage. I can get a point across without cuss words, but why? It don't make sense. <laughs> Doesn't make sense in my world. I get dirty looks from, you know, my aunt and stuff. I'm like, roll, roll your eyes that way. They totally are there to trigger him, like spamming his chat. Absolutely. Well, it depends on what mood, mood he's in, because sometimes he's like in a good mood, so he'll be like, I'm not answering that, doesn't bother me. But then there's other days, you don't know what per capita means? <laughs> You fucking idiot! Oh, God, that's gold. <laughs> that shit's gold. I love the F word. 
Don't, I hope it never dies. <laughs> and if you can't handle it, move along. I don't use it that often on my channel because it's the difference between ads and no ads. You can only use uh, so many swear words in, in a live stream before they're going, you know. So that's the only thing that'll sway me. Aquarium. Anyway, so yes, there's new things in the store. Go get them. Have fun with it. Um, I'm still creating my um, portfolio. And as I do it, I will continue to drop them in the store so you can be in on it if you'd like to. But I'm hungry. It is... Oh my God, it's only 11.30. I've been up since 6.30. But I haven't eaten. And my tummy's like growling. And it kind of like hurts because it's hungry. So I'm going to... I made homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm going to make sliders tonight. Um, I got all kinds of food yesterday. Soul Train, thank you for the $5. Thanks for the beak off spot. Whoa, whoa. It's fun. Oh, thank you. We got a great community in here, and everybody's welcome to join. Beezers, non-beezers, don't really care. Uh, maybe you'll learn something, and maybe you'll quit giving somebody your energy. Or, or you are doing it on purpose because you love it. You love being in control of her paycheck. So that could be that. We can't I think they're all idiots. But anyway, please give me a thumbs up on the way out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe tonight. Let's see if anything pops off tonight. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. Oh, yeah. And go get a lot of water quickly. I'm going there right now. Get a few cases. Bye, guys.